Today I'm going to be talking about a Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, so to start off, one of the most interesting uh, things I found in the play to be was when Helena had both Lysander and Demetrius head over heels in love with her. And I found this interesting because Helena, in the beginning of the play, was madly in love with Demetrius. So as soon as I, uh, I thought as soon as Demetrius would show any type of love or affection for Helena, that she would hop right on it and just grab it toward, towards Demetrius, which instead she actually uh, thought they were playing a trick on her. So I thought that was kind of weird in the beginning. Uh, some of the themes that I saw in the play were love and sacrifices was uh, a prominent one with Hermia having to make the decision between marrying Demetrius or being executed or possibly turned into a nun. Uh, which then leads into my second theme, which is oppression of women. Uh, Hermia didn't have her own decision on who she wanted to marry. It was all up to her father, Aegeus. And so they ultimately, uh, for my third theme, they ran away and rebelled against uh, the Athenian law and tried to make sure that they were outside their jurisdiction so they could live happily ever after together. But uh, So one of the main reasons I thought the play was inside of the play uh, which is kind of weird, but I thought this happened because it shows a nice contrast between William Shakespeare's old style, where he wrote the tragedy of uh, Prometheus and Thebes uh, violently killing themselves, uh, which compared to A Midsummer Night's Dream is more of a comedy, and it shows at the end that they all are happy, uh, the couples are together and content, and at 12 o'clock they're going to go to bed and hopefully um, make some children so I thought it showed a good contrast between the two different uh, styles of plays in this one play and so for the role of women in the Athenian culture compared to say the fairy culture is very different the Athenian women had very little power and this can be seen uh, through Hermia, when she is not able to make her decision on who she wants to marry, it's all up to her father. And actually, I thought it was uh, pretty strange that Hippolyta really didn't have that much of an influence in the, the play, even though she is the goddess of the Amazon. Uh, I thought she would have had a bigger role in the play, maybe helping Theseus uh, with his decisions, but she was never really uh, asked by Theseus for any type of um, advice. So I thought that was pretty weird. But as for the fairies, Tatiana actually has quite a bit of power. She has power over her fairy servants as well as Oberyn with the Indian boy. So Oberyn, Oberyn really wants the Indian boy and Tatiana just is loving having something that Oberyn wants. Uh, so to end, some questions I have is why did Oberyn uh, help the Athenian people uh, by sp uh, spraying the love potion on top of Lysander? Well, which was an accident, but why did he want to do that? He didn't really have any type of need to do that. And also, I was wondering if, at the end of the play, Hippolyta seemed as if she knew something was up with the dreams. So I was wondering if Hippolyta actually knew that there was some, like, mischief uh, uh, before and just didn't want to say anything, or why didn't Hippolyta say anything further about these dreams? Okay, thank you, bye.